Hi, my name's Daddy. I play Boom Beach sometimes. So, amazing fact you never knew about Daddy. I made the first Boom Beach video that appeared on YouTube, which is this one. And I was also over in Helsinki for the Boom Beach public launch party for the uh, when it first launched. And this is it. Four, three, two, one. Gosh, there were lots of happy people that day. So I have had a Boom Beach account. I got a level 46, um, which is HQ 17. And it's been an exclusively farming base. I haven't spent uh, a cent on any gems. So this is where I've got to after probably probably about a year of playing, really. And I do make Boom Beach uh, videos from time to time. I quite enjoy the game. It's a very much dip in, dip out. Right now I've got the HQ on the... Uh, on the beach because uh, well my VP is way too high so what I'm trying to do is because the bases I can see I can't attack <laughs> so um, yeah I mean up 60 622 I'm down 604 now so yeah you know 18 raids in the last few hours which is pretty cool so I thought I'd show you guys a couple of raid attacking styles that I use one that I use a lot and one that I don't use very much at all the one so the one that I use a lot is going to be riflemen, zookas, and medics. And the one I don't use very much, but I want to try it a bit more, is tanks and medics. So let's go for the rifleman. Uh, yeah, let's go for rifleman zooka first. So the first thing you want to do is check for the statues to see if there's anything that's seriously defensive. Right now they're up at the top there. Can't see anything at all actually. Just a couple of attacking statues. Always take out the shock tower first and try and get the one of the rocket launchers as well if you can so so the main thing is that your troops don't get stunned in one place and then the splash damage attacks them so let's take out this shock launcher there we go so it's usually generally it's one rocket launch plus uh two maybe three of the the missiles so let's try a second missile and two missiles it's gonna take one more so it may be that there's a statue there a defensive statue there now I'm kind of thinking which one of these two rocket launchers shall I take out? Should I go for the really tough one or not? Let's take out the really tough one. There we go. It's going down pretty slowly. You've got down to about 60% health. So use one more, two more. It's going to take three. There we go. It's got that. Those rocket launchers really aren't too much of a problem because they're, you know, they are splash damage. But, you know, I've got pretty, pretty high level Riflemen and Zookas, I think Riflemen are up to 14, possibly 15 at the moment. I'm not using any boost on this, by the way. What I'm trying to do in this wave is to do a pincer action onto that rocket launcher whilst taking out as many of those trash buildings as possible, you know, to increase the energy that I've got. So you can't really see very well up there in the trees, but, you know, there's not much that's dying. I think I lose maybe one or two Riflemen, which is just nothing. The lovely thing about the Riflemen attack is that it doesn't really matter about things like um, that would normally worry the tanks and the medics, which are the you know the the, the big boom cannons, because you know the, the, the riflemen are totally expendable. So what I've got here is just a line of of death with some zookas behind. Now I, I didn't actually used to use zookas at all. I just found found a rifleman were enough, but then I found myself having to to boost, and I don't really want to use my power powder up. So. I got this line. What I'm thinking now is I need to probably bring everybody back up to the top so I can make the final assault onto the town hall. So bring them up to the top, take out that group of three defences there. I'm a little bit concerned about my medic because the medics go slowly and they're always the last ones. So they sometimes get taken out. He hit, got hit once there. He followed up the rifleman and he moved out of way of that, uh, of that mortar, which is good. I got a boom cannon. Sorry, a boom mine there, which I'm a little bit concerned about, so I'm going to take that one out. Now we've really got a focused line of death, and I'm going to focus. I'm going to use my uh, medikits now to really heal that group because you know splash damage could just, just destroy me there. Take out, put down a medic there where the flamethrower is, and from now onwards it's starting to stretch out a little bit more than I'd like. So I'll take out those last that last mortar and I'm going to bring everybody back in so I think let's put a flare onto the HQ there we go okay so we've now got a curve of death looking at it there's about 15% left I have 
knowing the way that it, the strength of the troops are, no problem at all with that. That's going to take it out. There we go, those medics are just uh, busy healing the riflemen. And there we go, we get a ton of loot from that. The loot up here at 600 is pretty good actually. This is, this is I'd say this is above average, but um, it's still pretty good by any counts. Okay, so that's the, the raid that I do get on very well with. I'm going to try the, uh, the I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going, I was trying to say giants, I've still got cash inside me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try the, um, the tanks and the healers. What I'm thinking is if I can get two of the, because I've got, got two landing crafts that are still at level 19 and they, they'll only take three medics. So if the two, if I use two landing crafts that are level 20, which will take four medics, that will give me the most medics possible. So two landing crafts with medics and five landing craft, is that five left? Yeah, five landing craft with the tanks. I'm gonna build those troops with the gems that I've managed to get from the base itself and managed to accrue them over time, just for you guys, because I like you. Okay, so with the tanks, just two things. One, they use energy. Since very, very early on, they started using energy to launch tanks. So I'm gonna launch those tanks first because I'm not actually sure how many energy they need. And I obviously don't wanna run out of tanks. So let's get those tanks down and you take a completely different approach. I'm taking out the really heavy um, artillery now. So I'm going to pop a shock in that three there, which I'm a little bit concerned about that cannon. He's going to take some of my energy away. He's going to damage, do some damage to my tanks, but still. I'm actually quite... I mean, it's funny because I don't think I've made a tank for about two months. So, you know, bear with me on this one. The boom mines, boom mines are not really going to give any problem to my tanks. Luckily as well he's got one of the rocket launchers up, upgrading which doesn't really make that much difference because rocket launchers aren't great against tanks. But I'm really shocking out that I've really been shocking out the shock launcher and luckily he had those two boom cannons right next to the shock launcher. So let's take out that shock launcher if we can. Luckily my medics are hanging back which is good. Uh, and I think it's going pretty well now. I, I, this is like an extreme line of death. <laughs> you know, I mean, so I'm using too many um, missiles on those cannons. I'm completely forgetting how many missiles you need to take out those level of cannons, which aren't very high. So yeah, this is, this is like an extreme line of death. Let's just recoup back at the top there, because what I want is a more focused uh, kill zone, really. Because right now I'm sort of well, just before that it was kind of stretching him out a little bit. So let's focus in. The um, yeah, there's machine guns really a, a zero problem for, for tanks, as you know. Let's just take this thick line of tanks now. Pop a heel a heel down there. Maybe a little too 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 um, far forward that heel. A little bit of a mistake, but still doesn't really matter. Uh, boom 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 tanks go bang and you know what my faith is restored in tanks because I've, I've raided with them before and it's been a right pain because you you just you find yourself doing an hour and a half of building and losing them all but uh, no I'm quite happy with that I don't think I've lost a tank anyway so that's that's my boom account right now and I'm just going to chug along really quite enjoying it dipping in and dipping out I love you boom experts to tell me what did I do wrong and what gives give me some tips and how to enjoy the game more Thank you very much indeed for watching. You guys have been awesome. Take care. Bye for now.